And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Jared the Killer Gorilla! Ready, fight. Ready. Good. All right, another big spot for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier. He has been on the cusp of contention at middleweight and at light heavyweight. Many of you know he actually began his UFC career as a heavyweight. And look at him now. Like, I would never wear a shirt, DC, if I look like that guy. Jared Cannonier back on the proven ground here tonight. And blocks the shot there. Kick to the body. Oh, damaging knee to the head. Don't stop. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, like How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Quick jab. Wonder Boy gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. His opponent recovered. Now he's got to go deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. He should have gotten the fight finished. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh, perfect head kick there. Thompson's bleeding from the mouth now. A cut there on his lip. That doesn't look like fun. Two minutes remain in the round. That's a solid punch. That one definitely got through. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Like that one lands a beautiful body kick. Another body kick land. Oh, killer jab there from Jared Cannonier. Amazing to think where he would have been had he gotten an earlier start in MMA. He's only been at this for a few years and obviously has realized incredible results. It's scary, right? It's scary. It's scary to think who this guy would be if he started doing this early. But you live in the here and now, right? Jared Cannonier is taking full advantage of every opportunity that he's given. Thompson's in half goal. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Thompson. Just missed with the left there. Final seconds here. Uh, Round two next. Uh. All right, good news is the round is over. Bad news. Thompson's corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. Well, that was a damaging five minutes. We'll see how he can recover over this 60 seconds. We'll show you some replays now from that previous round. He was on the receiving end of some big blows, and he wasn't moving his head well. His head was on the center line. He was a stationary target. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two is underway. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Oh, big kick lands flush. He closes the distance beautifully. He's got a single collar tie. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. 
and just misses with that big right hand. Well, he was setting up the hooks early in offense tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Nice job by him defensively there. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Oh, the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier with that powerful right hand tonight. You gotta be careful not to eat too many more of those. I mean, maybe Side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Oh, nice takedown defense. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish them. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. <laughs> Ninety seconds now to go in round two. Let's go. We need to score that takedown now. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his attack here tonight. And offensively, I think his approach leaving a lot to be desired. Got to figure out a way to conserve some energy here moving forward. Huge shots landing on both sides. Oh, a big left hand there. Oh, huge knee. Big knee to the body. Oh, what a round. How good was that? All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Do you believe it? This next round is underway. In the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Crowd going bananas. Big opportunity for both fighters. These are the types of fights that makes it so fun to sit right next to the octagon and call the action. Oh, big elbow. Oh, gets the single leg takedown. Pretty good velocity on that one. Thompson's in half guard. Uh, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Cannoneer gets up and is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. to go in our third round. Gotta get out of there. Right to the knee on belly. Thompson's back to the side control now. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Back to the stand-up now, both fighters upright. He's got to find a way to finish this fight. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Good work getting in the way of that knee. 
Buccaneers bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Oh, another one. Somebody's gonna have to press here. This fight seems to be on the table. Do not back up. Let's go forward now. All right, push, push, push. Right hard. Body kick from Cannoneer. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Goes the distance, and man, did they entertain the masses. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest. 29-28. We played the winner by unanimous decision, Jared the Killer Gorilla. Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Anthony Rumble Johnson! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Caution, flammable. Here is Anthony Rumble Johnson. You can ask Ryan Bader about the power and what he brings to the table. Early in fights, late. 16 career wins by knockout. Best of luck to the opposition tonight. Johnson gets the early take down. All right, this position now, what we call the north-south. If you're the bottom fighter, what are you trying to do to get out of harm's way? Man, it's tough on the... Oh, watch GT here. Oh, that killing is tight. Back and forth we go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. Oh, he bumps the hips and gets out. What a beautiful job. Getting his hands to the hip, lifting him all the way up, freeing his head and defending the guillotine. Great job. Oh, great reversal to top position by Johnson. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Oh, that rear naked choke is tight. Oh, somehow, some way he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Fighters back to their feet here. Under three minutes now to go in the round. That darn choke is tight. Okay, he's got it. That's it. And there it is! Oh, my Unbelievable. So what a win for him here tonight. He gets it done and gets it done by way of submission. He told us this week, I got to keep these judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Absolutely. He is a phenomenal grappler. He said that he held the advantage there, and that would show it.
And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. You ready to fight? You ready? Always a rowdy crowd here inside United Center in Chicago, Illinois, and tonight is no different. Great to have a major UFC live event back in the house of Angel. Yeah, this is a massive night for the fans. The fans are always rowdy here in Chicago. They love seeing championships won, and championships are on the line tonight from the United Center. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Oh, nice. Nice. All right, good sign early for the boxer landing the uppercut. You can expect the wrestler to start to chain takedowns, but hard to get that done when you got that uppercut in your face. Well, that wrestler got to start to create some angles because every time he comes close now, he will see something showing up the middle. It can be knees, but I think that uppercut that he just landed is much safer because it keeps you away. It keeps your hips back so the wrestler can't try to take you down. Ching Leong gets up. He is back on the feet here. Trying to get the head kick home, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Oh! Oh, big left. Good kick. Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Both fighters throwing heat now. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's right for the picket. Go and pick the fruit. <laughs> Jing Leong's eye is closing up. His double leg shot. Oh, slams him down with authority, DC. Now we'll see what he can do with it, but certainly an impactful moment in the round. He slams him down with so much conviction, and nothing is more discouraging for your opponent than being lifted up off of his feet and then slammed back down to the mat. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Nichols cheek. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, oh, no. Heading back to the corner after that round. Jing Leung's eye starting to look pretty bad. He absorbed a lot of damage over those five minutes. We'll see if the cut man can do anything about that. All right, so back to the stools we go. They say defense wins championships, and he has not defended well tonight. He isn't trying, or at least it doesn't seem like he's trying. He has got to move his head. He's trying to react when the punch is already coming, and that's not working. If he takes many more of these shots, this fight is going to be stopped due to the swell. You ready to fight? Ready. Second round underway. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. Oh. Back to his feet. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight.
Brand new day, I'm brilliant. Afro hair like William. Don't play, got skill like Brazilian. One day I'm gonna make more than a million. Thinking paper, AM to PM, come like Christina Million. Think twice if you wanna get silly and dumb, I'll send man a box at like million. Don't play, I'll send man a box. Ain't no chicken and chicks inside. Don't play my song, see so you ain't got girls. Don't call you a leak if you miss the vibe. Keep to myself and I'm not too hyped, so nobody saw when I dipped inside. Money in a bank if I grip this mic, I'll send man a box, no rips inside. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, here now, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. So here he is, the Muay Thai stylist, ex-gym product, Anderson Silva. We'll see how he approaches the early going here tonight. He has been a fast starter. Most of his UFC appearances have ended in round one or round two. We'll see how Silva approaches this challenge here. Swing and a big miss by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Oh, body shot. And now Leather being thrown on both. Like that. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. Here's the kick blocked by Cejudo. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. What a fight. My goodness, what a fight. He's got him softened up here. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh! 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 Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Fill the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Surreal Bungamaka. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Mauricio Shaw. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here is Shogun Hua, early round one. We'll see if the legend can add to his legacy here tonight. Experiencing sort of a career resurgence. We'll see how he approaches this challenge early tonight. Let's get busy with those hands now, man. Nice body kick there. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, inside kick. Another blistering combination there, really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body, his face, his body, his legs. He's beaten him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Well, a few heavyweights move as well as the former interim champ, Cito Gan, and you see the footwork right away as this fight gets started. Yeah, the footwork leads to the jab. The guy does a great job of moving into you, and then he pops you. And then the moment you start to rush, he drops the big right hand on you. Cyril Gunn is a hard, hard puzzle to solve, especially as you go up in weight classes. Heavyweights don't move like Cyril Gunn. 
And you can see that as you watch him right now. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He has certainly found. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. Oh, no, no, no. You get hit with a shot like that. You don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elevator speed. Combinations here. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. All right, so that calf starting to show some signs of damage a little bit. Taking too many leg kicks. Got to check him. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. And now some distance as they pull apart. Oh, a huge block there. Back to the leg kick now. That one's no good. All right, looks as though that strike maybe opened up a cut around the eye area. Yeah, it looks like that strike opened up a cut, John, but it's nothing to worry about now. But he's got to start to protect it. Oh, right back to the well with the calf kick, and yet again, he does not miss. He doesn't miss because his opponent didn't address it early. And now he's so limited in his movements that he can't get out of the way. He's gonna get finished if he doesn't do something different. Just a nasty leg kick. That one hurt him. That's hard to watch. I mean, he is throwing those kicks with evil intent. He is trying to break his leg with every single kick. Uh, Round two oh, coming up next. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of what was a great round, DC. Got to talk about that knockdown. What a fantastic round. He was able to set up a great shot. Got the knockdown. You have to be feeling good. You ready? You ready? Go Here we are, early round two. exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got to... Whoa! Whoa! Well, you know this is the hurt business. Oh, my God! The bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 31 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by TKO, Surreal Bogomolka! Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete did it. It was a result that the...
our tale of the tape for the heavyweight fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the U.S. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, early round action here featuring the perennial welterweight contender Leon Rocky Edwards figures to have a decided striking advantage in this matchup. He believes his jab is going to be a key to setting up his power shots here tonight. And every MMA round begins on the feet. No different here. All right, nice early head kick for the champ Leon Edwards. He waited a little. Oh, he's in real trouble now. Top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Belfort. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Oh, great reversal to top position by Belfort. Big ground and pound. All right, he's got him in the north-south position here, DC. When you're in this position, however rare it may be, what are you trying to do? I'm just trying to lay on. I'm just trying to cut air from going to your body. I'm Edwards is now looking for a Darce choke. That is tight. Oh, that has got to be it. Oh, he got out. He did a great job of getting his hips away, getting back to his back in order to defend that Darce choke. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how... Oh, oh, play shot oh, there, DC. He is a... Oh, that is it! BK Belfort has done it again! Wow. Bruce Buffer now with... And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Tony El Kukui Ferguson. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the ex-murderer, Wanderlei Silva! You ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. Just remarkable to see where Ferguson has come since season 13 of the Ultimate Fighter. Oh, nice jab by Silva. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Nice low kick there from Tony Ferguson. Now we'll see if we get a level change here, DC. You know he mixes it up as well as any lightweight in this division.
Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was you've been through just to get to where you go fuck them day after day trying to stay out the way but i still gotta pray because i feel like i'm falling i reach out to god trying to talk on the daily i know i can't hear him but still trying to call him i need a blessing i feel like i'm stressing no point of me wristing i feel like it's stolen still ain't gave up with this pressure i'm holding they left me alone i was watching the bowling day after day trying to stay out the way but i still gotta pray because i feel like i'm falling i reach out to god trying to talk on the daily i know i can't hear him but still trying to call him i need a blessing i feel like i'm stressing no point of me wristing i feel like it's stolen still ain't gave up with this pressure i'm holding they left me our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Randy Rude Boy. Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Look for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style. Oh! He's got to start going now. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Slips that left hand. Calm down, it's okay. Nice punch, man. The inside leg kick is good. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kick. Quick level change. Oh, All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Nicely done. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Yeah, he's trying to get to the darts here. Looks to me like he's got that submission close. He's starting to get deep. Looks like he's gonna get the finish. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Oh, it looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here. Triangle now, DC. We'll see if he can close the show. Oh, the triangle is in. And now he's out again. Oh, great job by him there to reverse things and get the dominant position. Oh, he's attacking Trope now. Oh, looks like that submission's almost locked in. Starting to get pretty deep here. Trying to leverage those hips to escape, and he goes. Oh, that was beautiful. All he did, brought his hands to the hips. Got him, got him up off of him to release some of that guillotine pressure, and it pulled him back in to control his posture. Oh, right good ground and right pound here. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet. And no surprise, the crowd responds in the The crowd just loves whenever they get two high-level strikers going at it. Oh, man, what a connection right there. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing Tweety Birds over the top of his head. When you take a hook like that, you are on wobbly legs. Oh! 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Well, you're starting to see the damage now bleeding from his cheek. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed, 
to put his opponent down. All right, here we go with round two. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates ahead outside to a high garage. Elbow deep takes it for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters. on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. Oh, huge left. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the jump. Oh, he is hurting for something. Oh, big left hook there. Well, there's a swing and a miss. His cardio is really abandoning him at this stage of the fight. And sometimes when you miss, it can tax your gas tank even further. So let's see if he can preserve some stamina and try to figure out a way to get back in this fight. Man, as he landed a high volume, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Tyson's eye now closing up. his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It was amazing, John. It was amazing. for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Lee the Leech King Leon! And now introducing the corner, fighting out of the red corner, Jared the Killer Gorilla! Ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, it's been a remarkable rise for the killer gorilla, Jared Cannonier, as we get this round underway from a start in the UFC's heavyweight division while living in Alaska, now to full-time training in Arizona as a middleweight contender. One of the more scarier power threats in this middleweight division, there's no doubt about it. He's got a very good submission game as well, training under John Crouch there at the MMA lab. And on any given Saturday night, Jared Cannonier just might be the best middleweight in the world. He is out to prove as much here tonight. Straight right is there. Huge block there. Oh, nice slip and then the counter 
finds its home, so really starting to put it all together on the feet, and as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Cannoneers bleeding from the middle. Oh! Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Oh, he got Gets back to his feet. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast... with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He prompt for this heavyweight fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. All Do right, it. so here we go with round one. We highlighted the discrepancy and reach off the top. So let's see if the longer fighter can keep his opponent on the end of that jet. Shot at double leg. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of technique. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the best and in the first couple of rounds. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the outside of the show in that defense. reversal on the ground. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. In the half guard. Well, Silva's able to make a nice transition there back into side control. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Juan Beckham. Oh, and he lands another takedown here, just doing a nice job, not telegraphing his shot, clean entries. The Olympian's gotta like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. Silva's going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke off him. He's gonna tackle him right here. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get subbed. He passes the half. He's gonna start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack the arm triangle. This is tight. He's gonna choke him. There it is. Yeah, Paging Alexio Lennox. Somehow he got out, though. Great job clearing the hips and getting out of that Ezekiel choke attempt. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. So some high-level stuff there on the ground, but as they make their way back to the feet, a huge response from the crowd. I love, I love all the grappling that was on display there, but fight fans want to see striking, and that's exactly what they're going to get. Yes, 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 yes. You don't really stand. for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. He's gonna come out hard and aggressive. He thinks that you're ready to go home. 
Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big... You ready to fight? You ready. All right, round two. Now he's masterful from here. Oh, he went pro taste the lot and throws away from the air. What a massive takedown. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, nice guillotine there. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. That was nice. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay in the corner. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent up and very low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. So pretty good recovery by the opponent. Oh, oh, how good is this? Both men going for the finish. All right, so we'll see if he goes for another takedown here, and it's the way he's approaching the setup, too, that I think you've liked so far. I love it, man. I love how he's throwing the left hook and almost pulling himself into his shot. Punch goes as the opponent's hands go up, drives himself into the guy to try and secure a takedown. Truly, truly high-level striking mixed with under oh, huge connection there. He landed it. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Quick level change. Oh! oh he flips him over the top. What a huge takedown. I mean, do I survive that or did no, I read my last round? Absolutely race? not. You don't survive that. It's <laughs> over. It's over, John. Now he's looking arm triangle on the opposite side. When he goes to finish, look, he's got it locked. When he goes to finish, he has to pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest. Everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, he is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, here we go early in this round. Sid Ogon, the former UFC interim heavyweight champion, and most of the heavyweights will tell you he is one of the more difficult big guys to prepare for because he moves like a little guy. And certainly in our fighter meeting with Gon this week, he talked a lot about being light on his feet, staying on the outside of the power punches of his opponent, and uh, a lot of these heavyweights have had a hard time finding that kill shot against Sid Ogon. Gone shot is blocked. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickbox. Beautiful hook in close, staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. 
Gonz. Oh, continuing to attack the head as that diving punch lands. He's doing a really good job putting himself in position. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. Posture's up now and lands a devastating strike to the head. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get him. Instructions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Ready to fight? Ready. Let's do it. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson, formerly the baddest man on the planet. You know the flurry is coming. He'll throw uppercuts and hooks, use that signature peekaboo style, and get inside. On the other side, look for his opponent to try to take. Oh! That'll do it! Holy smokes! Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him, but for the win. And now our tail of the tape for this. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. All right, so here's Sidokan in terms of the speed and the footwork and the overall mixed martial arts acumen. This man is as good as it gets. Many believe he will eventually be an undisputed champion. And he's just getting going, right? It's scary to think how good he is, given that largely he is still a developing fighter and has only really been training full-time in MMA for four or five years. Gons now dealing with a cheek cut. Oh, effective strike from the clinch there by Junior. Well, not a ton behind it, but that knee landed right on the target. And again, for the taller fight. Oh! Now yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh! And both fighters exchange in the pocket. That one appeared to stun him. Back to the feet now. Oh, massive kick. Everything behind it. Well, some might describe this as critical condition. That oh! Heard it again. Man. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing. Oh!
dirty cold to go, been cold since cold flow. Got a wire to a lodge and I'll set a fire down below. I hang it up and you say sorry, didn't know. Probably got a year, ten to go. So let's... Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buff. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, the now 40-year-old Vitor Belfort. He's finished all of his UFC wins, the majority of those in... Beautiful diving strike lands. Oh, heavy shots raining down. That was a slick transition. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lands a big right hand early. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Man, this is crazy, DC. These fighters are not trying to just touch it. Oh. Back to his feet. Oh, big left. Hook to the head there by Ulan Becker. Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Oh, and a solid oh, oh, both of them are landing massive shots. Finish. What a fight. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Juan Beckham. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He just find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now he's passed with trying to find that shot again. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Now, oh! oh my God, he switched the lock to a high crotch, rotated him, and took him for a ride. That was a big takedown. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Ulan Becker. And there you go, again, half guard. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, this could be it. That thing is tight. That arm triangle is deep. Looks like another submission attempt now. Oh, that rear naked choke looks tight. There's the tag! Oh, oh, no judges needed this time around! Holy! Wow, an unbelievable result here tonight by way of submission, and he bided his time there. He stayed patient, waited for an opening, and then when it... So here he is out of the blue corner, the number one heavyweight contender fighting for the title here tonight. Daniel Cormier has eight championship belts at home. Do you remember, though, the nerves for your first UFC title? It's the most overwhelming thing you've ever felt in your entire life. You are sitting in the back waiting for that moment where you get an opportunity to go chase something greater than yourself. So many people have played a part in getting this man to the spot. How does he deliver? How does he not let anyone down? How does he ultimately become the champion of the world? This is a big spot for him. He is so excited to try and become the man. Well, self-belief is a powerful thing. He has long thought that he is the best heavyweight in the world. Tonight, he gets a chance to prove it.
one of the best heavyweights in the world, Paris Francis Cyril Gaon, and that infectious smile certainly gets wiped away on fight night, but this is a guy who absolutely enjoys competition as much as any heavyweight on this roster. Figures to have a striking advantage in this matchup and in most matchups in the heavyweight division. Most of these guys, if they have it in their repertoire, are gonna try to take him down. So what has he done? Gon's gone back to the drawing board. He has spent so much time working on his wrestling and takedown defense that he believes his sprawl is gonna show up large here tonight. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> your referee, Ready. he's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. Right, early round action here, and hard to think of any fighter other than maybe Conor McGregor, who has ascent, changes levels now, DC. Oh man, he was in a single, got to a high oh. Oh. Nice big takedown, what a technique, what a takedown, great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here with the Broncos. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's like he's watching it with <laughs> up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. All right, so perhaps he's gonna have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's gotta pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's gotta be very careful with it as we go forward. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Oh, that's the biggest shot so far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Ooh. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Ulan Bekov swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. That knee, that knee hurt him. Great block there. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Ulan Bekov's now switching his stance. Well, you've got to admire the effort. He's still striking, he's still landing, but the gas tank is basically on empty. Let's see if he can preserve it here moving forward. Another take that All right, he's got him in the north-south position now, DC. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this. Yes, they have to be mature about <laughs> the fact that this is a real fighting position, and the guy on top has a lot of opportunities to finish. If he's going to attack this north-south choke, He's got to drive that shoulder. Oh, 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 massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. All right, you see his high-level footwork here, maybe trying to set up that hook shot. Oh, 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 oh my goodness! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really, just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All 
All right, we set it inside for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Dougie. There is a new baddest man on the planet. There's the new UFC heavyweight champion. You don't get them all right, DC, but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ? I mean, he has so much power. It's such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming. Congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet.